Nothing in your education, our experience, and has prepared you for history. Outside of traditional criticism. Look at this. So this is that, that. Hi, this is Juan from Design for Ventures, and I'm, today I'm going to show you how to take something from Sketch, uh, export it as SVG, uh, and take it into Keyshape and uh, animate it here, and then take it into Rapid Weaver. Uh, and how to get it on your page, etc. Uh, etc. Et so, okay, uh, first we start out in Sketch uh, where I have just these three layers. Uh, I have selected this one and I have made it exportable as SVG. I also took this text here uh, and uh, I made this into outlines uh, because uh, SVG can have some problems sometimes with the text fonts so I just selected this this was like that before something like that and then I took and did um, convert to outlines so I have the this layer is also made exportable uh, and I exported these two as two SVGs. That is one, and that is one. And I throw them into key shape. And here uh, is the text. And here is the all the other layers. So one thing you need to do, you need to start with changing the anchor point of each layer that you want to animate because if you animate this one when the anchor point is there you're going to get really weird results so you take this one the transform tool you press f you press the layer and then you go here you say this maybe i want this to animate from this to this yeah you take the four and say that this I want to animate from this anchor point here something like that yeah and the D D maybe we'll try we can try this one yeah that's nice from the this corner uh, or maybe we want to do like that maybe Let's try this one yeah that's cool uh, and the text the text has where is the anchor point of the text i'm gonna to try to find it seems to be where is it i can't see it ah it seems to be far off ah you know you see tricky little thing you know so uh, over there that is not where i want it so maybe i want it to animate from the side or something like that so uh, now it's there and if we did a scale animation on this one you would get something like like this shump yeah it's nice yeah cool so now let's start animating uh, first I want to point out something very good with key shape key shape by the way uh, is really cheap and you can buy it from the App Store I highly recommend it um, is this uh, you see I have blend modes here uh, blend modes and something here appears that I haven't seen before because this is actually the first time that I use blend modes with SVG so boom ha huh, okay no support for IE11 so yeah uh, we would not care about this right now because uh, I want to save time but this is really good and you should of course try to create stuff that is supported everywhere you can use later maybe browser stack and check it out we will do that i will um, use my friend's account uh, thank you frederick uh, so uh, and try it out cool so 
let's start animating. This is really cool. You have something called enable auto keyframing, and that is a very fast way to get things rolling. Boom! It jumps there. So we say that the text should animate. Uh, say we say a scale animation, and this is how it looks at one second. And here we say. I want it to be zero, zero, yeah, we, oui. okay, and then we just press play and see uh, what happened there. That was really weird. So did I forget the anchor point? Where is the anchor point? Aha, uh -huh, it's there. How did it jump up there? It's really weird. Okay, so you see this starts happening bad. Uncheck that one. And we just do this again. Boom. Nothing happens. Let's change the anchor point to be there. So this is really good that this happens. Uh, because it will happen. So let's start over again. Auto keyframing. And maybe there's a shortcut for that. Okay. Let's animate scale. Actually, you don't even need to go here and do this because it's just you just need to do something here in zero, zero, and it automatically gives you the keyframing. Okay, so that is the reverse. So let's just do this like that. Boom. Yeah, that looks crappy. So we need to do some cool things with interpolation of the Bezier curves, the animated curves. Uh, but let's do that later, actually. Uh, so that is an animation. Boom. Okay. Uh, then the, let's animate this one. Uh, just do that. Go to the there. And I want it to look like that. And then I go there and say zero. Zero. And here it should be one. So it looks like that. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's animate the four. Uh, same thing. For this purpose, we can say that we do that. There it should be zero. And when we come to one second, it should be one. This is really simple animation. We can do more advanced stuff later. Yeah, so this is like that. Uh, and we will fine tune this, of course, uh, in a moment. So let's say that zero should be there. What happens then? Yeah. Backwards animation, awesome. So let's just do this. I just say that I just reverse it. And that is a very simple way of animating. So now everything is animated and it looks like crap. Yeah, awesome. So what do we want to happen first? I definitely want this, the name to come last. So I will just do like that. And maybe the D first. So let's do this just like that. Can it like that? So maybe that and then the four there and then the V should come in like that. Something like that, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then, yeah, cool. So let's do something about this, uh, the interpolation here. We can just do it like that. And here you have spline in curve, that is nice. And then you can do spline out curve. And what happens then? That is much nicer. So let's just do that. Spline in, spline out. Spline in, spline out. Sp 
spine in, spine out. Boom, boom. That this one is too late. Let's just do that. So, and you can also do go into this mode. This is really nice. So here you can really fine tune your animation. Like boom, boom. Okay, or maybe just something like that. And then we take the four. And then the V. Nice. And the text. Maybe something like that. So, boom, boom, zoom, boom. This is nice. And if I do like this, you can see every, if you really want to try to make uh, all the curves similar. Yeah, this is really tedious work, so of course, in future versions of Keyshape, I would love to create something like this and then save this as a preset. I really hope that comes. Zoom, 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 zoom. Cool. Now, let's think about how, what should happen next. Maybe we should just we take it out of way. Maybe if you want this to like auto repeat infinitely you can just mark there and trick try uh, press this one repeat so this is like that madness what happened here i don't know man this is insanity we don't want that <laughs> let's try this out boom 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 nice yeah Boom, 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 boom. Boom, yeah, cool. So, let's just say that this is how we want this to be. So, in the next step, we are going to export this and import it into Rapid Weaver using the Blueprint SVG stack. Awesome stuff. See you in a while. Nothing in your education.